it is to make CBD a real retail market and create the security. If you think about it, CBD has the highest investment of everything in Kenya. Internet, security, lighting, but we only use it for eight hours. And perhaps the biggest person who suffers most in Nairobi is women. Women are not able to work because women are expected to get home early and, uh, and arrive early. So we have to make it safe for the woman to work because if the woman is working in Nairobi, I'm a big, my, one of my biggest policy agenda is a woman at work and a woman in business. That would be a massive agenda. Um, and that is the way we're going to transform households and transform lives and livelihoods. So we will remark the CBD limits. We, are, we will review the necessity of on-street parking. Today, if you look at the on-street parking, you know, yes, we have a couple of taxis, a few cars, but they are, they are adding to the congestion. So that is a conversation we shall have. But this is not the final policy position. It's developing. And that's why our campaign is about Nairobi Mwatakanini. Tuwache Kukanyagana and sitting on everybody. And also, we, uh, so, and then creating a law where the first five floors of every building in CBD should be retail. Either a supermarket, a bar, a restaurant, a barber shop, a place where people meet and, and interact. Um, that's where we shall regenerate CBD. We will create the largest conference center where Garden Square is. The m biggest. I would like to see Koinange Street look like um, completely lit up and people come there to see artists at night. It should be our Broadway. There should be theaters there. People coming to watch plays like at mm -hmm. Alliance, Alliance Fonse. That is the dream we have. Make Westlands a real entertainment spot. Light it up and it becomes our let people work 24 hours. Kenya is a country of young people. Watch our chairs, a disco, and ask his 